Hello everyone, I'm the Pink Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Before we get into the video, uh, please do go check out the Association of Environmental Issues website and Instagram. Also, please do go check out my Instagram. All of those will be linked down below if you are interested in checking them out. Today, we will be discussing and profiling the Cape Cobra. This is truly a snake to be respected. Really, really it is. And you'll see why when we get further into it. But first, we need to discuss the identification of the uh, Cape Cobra. They grow up to about 2.3 meters long, so not the longest of cobras, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, they also uh, generally are found in a range of different colors. These range from everything to a light, light beige, almost whitish color, to a dark, dark brown. So they can even be found in yellow shades and lighter browns even. Some are even speckled, so it's truly quite something. They also have a magnificent and proud hood. Now, in terms of distribution, they are found in the Eastern Cape, Western Cape, and Northern Cape. As the name would suggest, Cape Cobra, they're found in most of the capes, just not, yeah. Um, so they are also found in the Free State and Namibia and Botswana. Then, lastly, they're found in the Northwest Province. So, quite ubiquitous generally, but yeah. In terms of habitat, they're found in the savannah, uh, in quite rocky areas, and in the Feinbos. Now, if you do not know what Feinbos is, whether it is because you live in America, England, uh, India, um, <laughs> uh, that they yeah, they're found in the Feinbos, which means it's actually a very shrubbish area. They have all types of shrubs. They have our um, plant, I guess, uh, the South African national plant, if you could call it that, the king protea, and other succulent plants such as that. They are generally very drought resistant, the plants in the Feinbos and reliant on fire to sow their seeds. So if there's not a fire every year, sometimes there is a small shortage of seed. In terms of what they eat, they eat diet. They eat diets, wow, wow, isn't that magnificent? <laughs> they eat other snakes, such as other cobras or house snakes, pretty much anything they can find. They eat lizards, frogs, rodents, birds even if they can get their mouths around them they truly do eat pretty much anything they can get their mouths around but uh generally they stick to rodents lizards and other snakes they are active during the day in other words they are diurnal uh you can tell this because they have round pupils if you do need explained which pupil means what all of my other videos, all of my other snake profiling videos, I do explain it. Now, in terms of venom, they are considered the most venomous cobra in Africa, and if not in Africa, the entire world. Now, they do have a neurotoxic venom, which means it's very fast acting and it uh, targets the nervous system. So it starts to kill nerves and break down the nervous system little by little. So if you are bitten, go to the hospital immediately. They, they, and they are extremely dangerous. As I said, one of the most venomous cobras in the world. So yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more snake and animal content every Monday and Friday. And I will see you next time.